Now that the patient is on the Pumani, you need to check the respiratory rate of the baby and the oxygen saturation and make sure that the baby is stabilized on the Pumani. You may need to adjust the pressure or the flow depending on the patient's condition. So to adjust the pressure, to add pressure, you will add water to the bottle. So if the patient is still struggling on the Pumani, you may choose to increase the pressure. And the way to add water to the bottle while the patient is on the Pumani is to take a feeding tube or orogastric tube and insert it into one of the holes on the top of the bottle lid. And you will take a syringe filled with water and you will inject water into the bottle through the tube up to the level of pressure that you want to apply. So right now the water is at six and I am choosing to increase it to seven centimeters of water. So I will inject water and continue to add water until you're at the level of water that you would like to apply to the patient. And then you can remove the feeding tube. You may also notice that throughout the therapy, water may start to evaporate out of the bottle, and so you need to regularly add water to the bottle. If you would like to adjust the flow, you will need to adjust the oxygen flow on the oxygen tank or the concentrator. If you need to increase or decrease the oxygen level, depending on the oxygen saturation of the patient. You want to adjust the total flow, you will turn the knob to either increase or decrease the total flow. And remember to apply saline to the patient's nostrils at least every four hours to keep their airway moist. It is very important after the first hour to check how the baby is doing. After that, you should monitor every six hours. This is because there are things that you can still do if they are not showing signs of improvement. When you monitor, record in the notes whether the airway is clear, the current CPAP settings, the airflow, oxygen flow, and the level of water in the bottle, the respiratory rate and heart rate, any signs of respiratory distress, and the oxygen saturation. If the sats are still low after the first hour, you can turn up the oxygen. You do these on the concentrator, but make sure you also check the level on the CPAP machine. Turn it up by one liter per minute. Make sure the total flow is still at six liters per minute. Likewise, if the other signs of respiratory distress are worse, or still severe, then you can increase the pressure of air. This is done by adding a centimeter of water to the bottle. This can be repeated every time you monitor until a maximum of eight centimeters is reached. Don't expect the baby's breathing to become normal after an hour. It will take much longer for that to happen, but you should see some gradual improvement. The oxygen saturations, however, should improve quickly after starting the baby on CPAP. I'm checking on my baby whether the nostrils are blocked. If the nostrils are blocked, which they often will be, then the baby will need suctioning. One nostril is blocked, the left one. So I want to clean the, the, the nostril. Okay. As early enough, I want to, to suck my baby, so I'm going to, to measure from the, from the nose to the ear, then halfway down. So this is the, the mount, as I said. It has no number, very small number. Okay, so I'll connect this to there.
then I said we mark the food, as we said. This one will go inside. Every time you monitor, you must apply saline drops. Do it after suctioning. Another common problem, especially in dry season, are nosebleeds. In a baby that is prone to these, or to blocking, it is essential to give regular saline drops. While the patient is on the Pumani, your hospital may have a power cut and the power to the Pumani may be lost. So I will demonstrate what happens when the power is lost and what you should do. So if the power is lost, the Pumani, you'll hear it no longer running. And you'll also see that the green light, the indicator light here in the corner is no longer lit. There's a 10 second delay before an alarm begins to sound. And you'll start to hear the beep, and then to turn off the alarm, you'll switch the power switch off, and then you'll hear the alarm stop. And immediately you need to remove the prongs from the patient's airway, because the pressurized air is no longer being delivered to the patient, and you can block the patient's airway. So you need to immediately remove the prongs, you can also remove the hat entirely, and you should place the patient on oxygen therapy from an oxygen tank if you have one available. And then once power is provided to the Pumani, you can place the patient back on the Pumani.